Well, hi. I am troubleshooting our British gas 330 plus boiler. It is not firing up. I have made all the usual checks and there are no fault codes showing. The front panel is reading 35C and if I do a reset on the small button the pump runs for about 10 seconds then shuts off. The boiler doesn't fire up at all. The settings are to constant on and the thermostat at 25C. I have checked the pump upstairs and no air comes out, only water. Any ideas? How long has this been going on? And how severe is the problem? Since yesterday. No heat to tank or radiators. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? Yes, if I can get good advice on how. Anything else we should know to help you best? No. I think this is the glowworm boiler underneath. Can you just follow this and see how far you get? I have that diagram in the user manual and it doesn't cover what is wrong. I have tried several resets and relinked the thermostat. The situation now is that the water is hot and the heated towel radiator in the bathroom upstairs is getting hot as well. The boiler is on, showing 56C on the panel. It sometimes lights up, with two flame symbols, then ramps up to five symbols, before cutting back to idle straight away. So, we have hot water but no hot radiators. Maybe a pump problem? There is one in the upstairs airing cupboard, which is humming gently and very hot. Not sure where to go with this now. If you have hot water then it is unlikely a boiler fault. Near the pump do you have any motorized valves? Above the pump upstairs in the airing cupboard is a three-way union with a gray control box on top of it. The center pipe is hot and obviously comes up from a boiler. The left pipe goes to the tank and is hot as well. The right pipe goes back down, to the radiators, and is hot near the valve but cool lower down. The gray box has a floppy black switch on the side but putting it to either of its positions seems to make no difference. Looks like the problem may be there. We seem to be getting somewhere. The gray control box has a switch with three positions WMH. It wants to stay in the W position. If I hold it to H the downpipe gets hot. I'm waiting to see if the radiators get hot now. They are not. Are you able to push the lever open onto heating only? If you can then perhaps the motor has failed and needs replacing internally to get it working again. If not then the valve may be seized internally and the whole thing needs replacing. Any suggestions? The gray box is definitely a motorized valve. Maybe it has lost signal or power. I will check the power supply. Meanwhile, where does the activation signal come from? Direct from the boiler? The switching between hot water and heating comes from the programmer via the room stat and cylinder stat. I will be wired as a Y plan. Like this. By programmer, do you mean a unit attached to the boiler, inside the cover, or the external unit I use to time everything? I miss seeing the wiring diagram you sent. I can see how it all works from that, thanks. 
Does the motorized valve have just two positions, one just to the hot water tank, the other to CH? Or is there a third position to both? Last question tonight. There is a mid position for when both are calling for heat. Both and heating only should make the valve move. Okay, thanks Andrew. There's no reason for the wiring to have developed a fault so it is likely to be a stuck valve, as you suggested. I will take the switching motor off the valve tomorrow and have a poke around in there. Thanks for your advice, much appreciated, especially this late on a Saturday. No problem. First change the motor, if that doesn't work then change the head. Good luck! Thanks again. Hi Andrew, I found this morning that the lever on the side of the gray box has an unmarked detented position which overrides the valve and has restored the heating to the radiators. Obviously either the valve or the controller motor is faulty and will have to be sorted to restore automatic operation. Thanks again for putting me on the right track with this problem. Happily, the boiler itself is 100%. Happy Christmas. No problem. This will give you heat whilst your hot water is on until you get it swapped out. Thermometer, winking face. Hi Andrew, I'm being asked to rate you today, but I thought I had already done that. I'll do it again now. If I may. One further question about my problem. I am going to buy a new valve and controller today to replace the faulty one. I'm a little concerned about draining the system down. I recently changed a radiator and avoided draining the system down by using bungs in the header tank. Would that work when changing this valve, or will there be a problem because the valve is connected to the hot water tank? Would turning off the mains water supply deal with that? I do realize that I will have to tie up the attic ballcock in the cold water tank. There should be a coil in the cylinder so the hot water will stay in there. Just be careful as swapping the 22mm valve a lot of times lets air glug in, so water glugs out. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.